Technical Veterinary Learning Channel Honored by Professor Ahmed Mamdouh Sharif, Professor of Epidemiology and Infectious Diseases, the ex-head of the Department of Veterinary Medicine, the ex-vice dean of Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Ben Swift University, Egypt, presents today. African horse sickness disease will be explained, clarified in several series. African horse sickness has another synonyms such as Beridiscati, Pestis equorum, Lapisti equina, Pestis equina africana, and in Sudan its synonym is Abu el Manazir. Diagnosis of African Horse Sickness African Horse Sickness is difficult to pinpoint in early febrile stages. Suspect that it is during the season when there are insect vectors activity. Suspect that it is when horses develop the following signs. Fever, dyspnea. Edema of the sobra orbital fossa, subcutaneous edema of head neck areas, pulmonary edema, deaths in infected equines. First step of diagnosis is the demonstrating of clinical signs. Incubation period of African horse sickness disease is about 2 to 14 days. Clinical signs typically seen at the 5th to 7th days post-infection. First sign of the disease, fever reached to 38.9 decentigrade up to 41.1 centigrade. By Fahrenheit, it reached between 102 to 106. Most common clinical signs are congestion of the conjunctiva. Severity of congestion is good indication of severe infection. These pictures showed lower eyelid conjunctivitis in horses infected with African horse sickness disease. Increasingly, more rapid respiration and abdominal expiration. Respiratory rate may reach to 60 to 70 per minute. Coughing and sweating. After initial signs, the disease can progress in one of four ways. Number one, peripheral cardiac form called DOCOP in South Africa. Number two, central pulmonary form called Duncop in South Africa. Number three, mixed form or the acute form. Number four, mixed form or African horse sickness fever. The peripheral cardiac or subacute form, what's called the cop in South Africa. By the end of a braille period, marked swelling of the head and neck may be noticed. Classic areas for swelling and edema are sobraorbital fossa, conjunctiva, lips, cheeks, and tongue, intramandibular space, laryngeal area, neck, prescott, and ventral areas of the sorax. This picture showing the preorbital swelling. This picture of a horse infected with African horse sickness showing preorbital swelling and conjunctivitis. No edema of the lower parts of legs occur. Petechial hemorrhages on the ventral surface of the tongue and in conjunctiva may be noted. As edema progresses, 
there may be restlessness and signs of abdominal pain with pulmonary edema. Again, the animal may eat and drink even in terminal stages, but finally, animals become prostrated and die. This picture shows animal in prostrated position and dies finally. Recovery of the disease if it is not fatal. The edema will subside from all areas over 3 to 8 days. This picture showed animal recovered from the disease. Second form is the central pulmonary or peracute form which called Dunkop in South Africa. Infected horse may appear colky, getting up and down and rolling around itself, as in this picture. When pulmonary distress increases, animal stands with four legs apart, head extended with dilatation of nostrils. The common clinical signs of this form is acute fever, sudden and severe respiratory distress, dyspnea and tachypnea, profuse sweating, spasmodic coughing, frothy serofibrinous nasal exudates noted from both nostrils with rapid death of affected horse. Once foam, as this picture appears in nostrils, death follows rapidly. This picture of a dead horse showing foaming appearance from nostrils. In several reports about African horse sickness, extreme respiratory distress including the following. Froth powering from nostrils, extensive hydrothorax and hydrobricardium, supraorbital edema, a gelatinous infiltration of subcutaneous tissue and intramuscular facial plants along with ligamentous nikki and muscles of the shoulder. In 2004 in South Africa, 196 outbreaks were reported, that resulting in 335 cases and 166 deaths while in 2003 only 89 outbreaks resulting in 510 clinical signs and 441 deaths. The strange point was prior to these both outbreaks, Western Cape province in South Africa had been declared that African horse sickness free zone from which horses could be exported. Number three, the acute or mixed form. Mixtures of pulmonary and cardiac forms where signs of one may be predominant. The mixed form is more frequently seen during necropsy. Mixed form or African horse sickness fever. It is the mildest form, can be subclinical or in apparent in infected horses occur in zebras, donkeys, and horses with heterologous immunity. Fever is usually intermittent, where normal temperature noted in the morning, but the deceased animal is febrile afternoon. Fever may reach to 41 centigrade within one to two days. Other clinical signs of this form is increasing of respiratory rate mild conjunctival congestion, accelerated pulse, loss of appetite is rare and mild. After one to two days, there is rapid recovery. African horse sickness series to be continued. Please subscribe the channel in order to be able to access the latest information and explanations.